Is it going? All right. This is a practical way of, um, this is a particularly difficult back window. Um, a lot of these Facebook groups, you may see people talking about stretch shrinking. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple different things. This is an older PT Cruiser. Um, a, lot, a lot of window tenders have problems with this. And, and I'm just gonna show you a few things. Now, you've heard of the H pattern. And what we've done here is we've done our H pattern but from here up, we've just, we haven't just laid it flat down there. We just left that open. So a, a lot of window tenders will tell you this, and, and this is where you can actually see it. You know, it's one thing to tell you what to do, it's another to see it. So we're gonna actually show you. I'm gonna go ahead and start shrinking this. Again, this is a PT Cruiser. You got two different tips here. Your first tip is to leave this H pattern alone without laying it down. The second tip is gonna be to stretch shrink it. Now. I've cut several tabs to grab. I'm gonna shrink as much as I can with my glove and the heat. And when, when I can't really shrink anymore without causing problems, I'll take my glove off and I'll, I'll actually start pulling on this and tugging on it as I'm heating it. Um, so here we go. So you'll just start off shrinking. I like to shrink wide, long areas. I don't like to stay in one spot and just shrink way up real quick. So I'll generally try to shrink you know, a couple inches at a time throughout the whole window. And as you can see, by not laying this flat, it just kind of eases on up. So you're actually learning two tricks right here. So I'm just going to keep on going. Get this cord over my shoulder. I'm just going to shrink as much as I can, and when it gets to a point where it just doesn't really want to shrink a whole lot more, and we start to have issues, then I'll go ahead and I'll start tugging on it. Um, a lot of spots on here is actually laying down. I haven't, I might not have to tug on this bad boy. Yeah, I think I will. But. On these PT cruisers, and not just PT cruisers, but there's a lot of vehicles where learning this technique is gonna help. It kind of gives you just a little bit of extra, you know, when the film runs out of shrinkability. You know, the film's only gonna shrink so much, and then it's just not gonna shrink anymore. Now, this is a, a really good film, and it looks like we'll be able to do it without pulling and stretching, but let me go ahead and take my glove off, and I'll show you how to stretch pull method's done, you'll just literally tug on it, you know, maybe a couple, two or three pounds of force. And then as you tug on it, heat it, hold it for a second, let it cool off, let it go. And then you'll move to your next tab, hold it, let it go. And as you see, it just lays flat. Now, like I said, this is, depending on what film you're using, this can be uh, less difficult or more difficult. But this is what window tenders mean when they say the stretch and pull method. Now you can pull this without cutting these tabs, but you probably want to cut tabs in it. Uh, pulling on it without the tabs, it doesn't relieve the stress that it needs to. So go ahead and use that. In any case, this is almost, this is almost laid out. And the rest of it, might just shrink on down. Now being that you're bare finger, and you're using a really hot heat gun, you definitely don't wanna be pointing it at your thumb or finger too long. Ooh, and my thumb's already getting hot. But that's pretty much it. There's one little spot right here, which I'll shrink that as, after I cut it out. But that's all stretch shrinking is. Um, cutting tabs in, it's a good idea. Cut your tabs, pull on it, shrink it at the same time. See ya.